Hello everyone, welcome to How Fix It. In this video, I will show you how to replace a worn out or dead battery in your Apple Watch Ultra. Before we get started, here are the tools you will need. A Tri-Wing Y 0.8mm screwdriver, plastic spudgers, tweezers, a screen disassembly tool, indispensable for disassembling due to the slim gap between the screen and the Apple Watch body. I use B7000 glue due to its high elasticity, anti-vibration, and water resistance properties. And screen clamps. Links to all the tools you need are in the video description below. All right, let's dive in. Take your watch and power it down. Use a hairdryer or heat gun to heat the screen for two minutes to loosen the adhesive underneath. If you are using a heat gun with a temperature preset, set it to 170 degrees Celsius. This is a safe setting for the Apple Watch screen. Place the tip of a metal pry tool along the edge opposite the digital crown and position it in the seam between the screen and the frame. Gradually begin to pry up the screen. The gap is very slim, making it difficult to insert the tool. If you encounter resistance, apply more heat and try again. Removing the screen on the Apple Watch Ultra is a challenge. Please be cautious during disassembly. Protect your fingers by keeping them clear of the tool's front end. Use a heavy glove, such as a leather or gardening glove for added protection. The adhesive requires time and constant force to loosen. Here are some tips to help you open the screen. Apply isopropyl alcohol, 91% or higher, to the gap between the screen and the frame to help loosen the adhesive. Don't worry, a small amount of isopropyl alcohol will not harm your Apple Watch. It's safe for electronics and will not cause corrosion or oxidation effects to the electronic components. Once you can insert the pry tool on all sides of the watch frame, add a little more isopropyl alcohol. If you still can't move the screen, here's another solution that will help you open the Apple Watch. You'll have to slightly modify the screen disassembly tool to fit the Apple Watch body. This tool has a curved edge, which makes the hook area less effective than a flat one. If you have the same tool or a similar one, use scissors to trim the edges to fit the dimensions of the watch frame. Reheat the screen and keep applying constant force until the adhesive loosens. Finally, I opened the watch body. Removing the screen on Apple Watch Ultra is more difficult than on any other Apple Watch series. Do not insert the tool deeply or use excessive force to avoid damaging the antenna pin. Lift the screen up and carefully turn it towards the digital crown, being careful not to strain the screen cable. Remove the two screws, securing the metal connector bracket at the bottom edge of the battery. Use a plastic spudger to pry up the battery connector. 
Unscrew the two screws holding the vibration motor. The second screw is under the metal bracket. Use tweezers to bend this bracket for access. You can now replace the battery. If the battery health is near or below 80%, the useful capacity of the battery has been significantly reduced. At this point, the battery is considered worn out and should be replaced. The compatible battery for the Apple Watch Ultra one is Model A2749 and the Model A2956 for the Apple Watch Ultra second generation. I have included a link to a replacement battery for the Apple Watch Ultra in the video description below. To extend the lifespan of your battery, avoid exposing your Apple Watch to extreme temperatures and try to keep your battery level between 20% and 80% whenever possible. Install the new battery, connect the battery cable, and turn on the watch to check the condition of the new battery. Regularly checking the battery health feature in the settings can help you stay informed about when a replacement might be necessary. If the new battery works fine, let's move on to reassemble and restore water resistance. For optimal performance, calibrate your newly installed battery, charge it to 100% and keep charging it for at least two more hours. Then use your device until it shuts off due to low battery. Finally, charge it uninterrupted to 100%. Before gluing the screen to the watch body, remove any remaining old glue using isopropyl alcohol. Apply B7000 glue to the housing to restore water and dust protection. After this repair, your device will function normally, but may lose its IP6X water resistant rating. It will still resist accidental moisture, but avoid using it for diving below 40 meters and in high speed water sports. Use clamps to fix the screen and the watch body. B7000 glue dries completely after 24 hours, but the minimum surface drying time is 3 minutes. 
I recommend waiting at least 45 minutes before removing excess glue and using your Apple Watch. If you found this guide helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more repair guides. Visit our website for more tech insights and do-it-yourself guides. Remember, every tech challenge is an opportunity to learn and grow. You are on How Fix It. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.